for those who might not know, the Liver King is on steroids, but still, um, the Liver King is this American guy who says we have ancestral tenants to live by, we must eat raw liver, must be connected to the earth, and that will save us from modernity. Uh, this is what he looks like for the most part, and a lot of people, maybe even women, will say, that's not a bad physique whatsoever. So, Byron, essentially, I think, ESCOM is forcing me to become like the liver king, right? Not because I want to eat raw liver, it's because, well, I don't really have a choice anymore. We've got stage six load shedding. We're not going to have internet. Can't cook my food. May as well just become the liver king of South Africa. Make it easy and have a traditional life. <laughs> in Africa because mm. that's all that's left to us really. I would like to publicly thank ESCOM for forcing me to spend time with my family. I know it's sometimes difficult. Every day I come home and I look at their little faces and think, oh God, do I really have to spend time with you? Where's my laptop? And ESCOM's like, no, 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 no electricity, buddy. Go spend some time with your family. And I think that we should all take a minute and say, thank you ESCOM for forcing good, strong, traditional family values on me. At least this way, they know that I'm spending time with my heartfelt family. They're also like, hey, too much TV rots your brain. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn your TV off and you're not going to be able to have your TV either. And I think that we're really blessed that ESCOM's doing that. You know, I'm often worried about uh, my kids having too much, as uh, too much connection with social media. ESCOM's got the answer, mate. They turn off the Wi-Fi. They go, nope, it's enough for you. No more Wi-Fi, go play outside in the trees with the birds. And you know, I'm really thankful to the government because it's taxed me into oblivion and it's very difficult to afford petrol now. And it's forcing me to go out there and reconnect with nature. When I see that buffalo, I can't chase that buffalo anymore in my 4x4. I have to run out with my hands and feet and I have to grab my rifle and go kill it on feet. And it's forcing me to get fit again. Like we have one of the most caring governments in the world. I think we should all take a moment and we should really thank them for the hard work that they are putting in to reconnect us with nature, to make us get in touch with our families again, to take away all those Western luxuries that we don't need. You know, those things that make us like proper liberal snowflakes. This government cares about us. They want us to go back to our roots. They want us to look after ourselves. They want us to look after our families. They call it decolonization. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, you know, that colonialist mentality of you sit on your ass in Europe, you have your star fucks with your foo-foo, you watch TV. They're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not in Africa. And to make you do it, turning off your electricity. And for that, I say, thank you, ANC. You have our best interest at heart. And we, we here at Morning Shop, we thank you heartfelt for looking after us so well. Yeah, basically, thank you for saving our marriages. Now we have to speak to our wives, which we didn't have to before. Yeah, but now there's no lights. We have to like give directions verbally. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, it's 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 a tough one, man. You know they're saying in the West, there's a big de decline in uh, in pregnancies, the birth rates is declining. Escom has the solution for that. They're like, you know where the Bow wow, all occurs. It's behind closed doors in the night time when the lights are off. So this comes like we're gonna help you little lovers along. Go turn your electricity off. And you guys are gonna be like candlelight. You know what happens when the candlelight comes out? Huh? Twink sparkle in the eye. Talk to each other, romantic dinner of your uncooked liver king stuff. And you're like, hey, maybe we should uh go to the bedroom. It's not like we can watch TV anyway. No Netflix, yeah. no internet. Can't play on our phone. No computer games. Can't ignore Can't each other. Phone. We're forced to just like speak and be together. So, I mean, essentially, ironically enough, uh, the South African government is, is building a nation of traditional heart, blood and soil type South Africans that are eating raw liver because they can't cook it anyway because there's no power which is sort of against the ideology of the ANC because they're a bunch of copy bastards, as we well know. But ironically, by running everything into the ground, we're basically a nation of liver kings. We really, really are a nation of, of liver kings. And this is how we're all going to look like 
in time to come. So th thank you, ANC. I think they've done South Africans a wonderful service by reinforcing yeah, the traditional roles of men and women at home, taking away work from the home place. Yeah, it's just based. That's all I can say. Stage six load shedding. Yeah. We should call it based shedding. I think we should. And you know what? Like, you just think about this government. I mean, you look in Europe, they're all with their blue haired, little liberal snowflake, like screaming and shouting, or with their soy boy diet, no muscle, no nothing. You know what we do in Africa? We're like, ah, uh -uh, buddy, if you want to be like that, we take away your police. We take away all your police so that when the guy comes to rob you, you're going to be like, ah, I can't be a soy boy anymore. I need to get some of that toxic masculinity. I need to go back to my firearm. I need to do my martial arts classes and pump up in the gym because I don't live in a country where I can be a soy boy. And for Indeed. that, I say thank you, ANC, for reaffirming toxic masculinity. You guys are a model of society. You know what's good for us. And you know, they're going there to all the women and they're saying, you know, women, if you want a good role in the household, stay at home, raise your kids and, you know, educate your own children. And they do this through absolutely destroying our education system because we all know that the South African education system is a giant joke. And the ANC have done this for our benefit. They've done it so that we are forced to say to the wife, you must stay home and look after the kids. You must educate them to make sure they're smart. I mean, what kind of caring government would do that? Now, if they just came out and said it, if they said, we want you all to spend time with your loved ones, mm. we're going to turn off the electricity to do it. We want you all not to be soy boys, which is why we got rid of the police force. We want your wives to have good traditional values and stay at home and raise the children. Think about it. The ANC really is the Republican Party to be proud of. Well, a, a, a much better version of the Republican Party. Because what else does stage six load shedding not allow? You can't be a vegan because you can't microwave like dog food that you eat, like beyond beef, burger, bullshit, whatever. You can't dye your hair blue because you can't see what color it is because there's no water anyway and there's no light. So you can't really see it. You can't make shitty TikTok videos because there's no internet and no lights to film yourself in. So essentially stage six load shedding is basically making all those terrible people disappear from the, like our social lives. And people are realizing in the depths of darkness and despair, the best thing for them is marriage, children, liver, meat, and co company and conversation. Just like the good old days. I'm under. And just think about it, even the snowflakes that sit there with their electricity and do still continue to upload their TikToks. You can't watch them anyway because you've got no electricity or, or any form of Wi-Fi. You know, the electricity oh. all went off and the Wi-Fi signals freaked out and your internet speed went to absolute pants because of everything that's going on. So this government's got you covered, man. It realizes that an Amish lifestyle is the best lifestyle for, for a good, happy family. And it is reinforcing an Amish lifestyle in all of us. And for that, I say, thank you, ANC. You have our best interests at heart. We love you for it. Amandla, you're really privileged to be living in this society. And you know, Ramon, mm. I'm also very happy to announce on the show that apparently the French government has approached the South African government and said that apparently France needs to learn from South Africa so that it understands how best to cope with load shedding because as you know they are now potentially going to be experiencing load shedding for the first time now in europe and it's so it's such a blessed feeling to feel like south africa is a pioneer in this area a pioneer of amish lifestyle living you know i knew that we lived in a great nation but i'm now without words when i see first world countries coming to us saying we need to learn from you guys i just think like Wow, man! Yeah, I knew we were great, but now we just we just are true pioneers of a great a great nation. I fully agree. I think I think every right wing government that we like in the world should learn from us. Donald Trump, when you come back, don't drain the swamp. Just cut the electricity supply. The swamp will never exist in the first place. Vladimir Putin, you know, okay, I don't know if he's right wing, but Putin himself, if you you don't have to pass laws saying you don't like gays, just cut the electricity, then the gays can't see each other. Like it's, it solves 
every social issue we have, if you are right wing, mm. to just cut the electricity. So in that regard, just just think, mm. just think about it from this perspective. I heard the other day, Whippy Goldberg went on TV and she said, "You know, the gays are here to stay." And I think she doesn't really understand biology because the one thing about gays is that they don't reproduce. So I'm not sure about that. They're not going to hear. They're not here to stay. But with that being said, you know what is here to stay? Stage six load shedding. And with that, I say I'm so thankful we live in this blessed nation because even when Whippy Goldberg is talking crap on TV, we don't have to watch it. <laughs> not because we don't want to, but because the government's like, ah, 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 we're not subjecting you to that rubbish. No electricity for you. Yeah, exactly. Stage six load shedding protects us from progressivism. And that's wonderful. So thank you, ANZ. See you tomorrow. Thank you, ANC.